Hello and welcome back to Will's World Reviews and more. And I'll be giving my uh, thoughts on uh, WWE 2016 Money in the Bank pay-per-view. And yeah, it was basically what I've been waiting for for nearly two years. Um, for Dean Ambrose to finally lift the uh, WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Yes, he cashed in his Money in the Bank. Yes, he used underhand tactics. Yes, he cashed in on Seth Rollins rather than Roman Reigns, which... You know, it's disappointing, I suppose, to some people, but hey, all three S.H.I.E.L.D. members held the WWE Championship in the same night. And I'm happy, I really am. Um, it's difficult to talk about the, the results, so this is not going to be so much of a results rundown as just my uh, jubilation that Ambrose finally achieving um, his goal. And uh, this is very personal for him, you know. I mean, I think you can tell in the interview afterwards that he wasn't really speaking... Um, kayfabe as uh, such he was talking about his real life journey and um you know i've been a massive fan of dean ambrose he was one of the reasons that i got back into wrestling uh, and also i'm a big fan of seth Rollins and and also roman reigns you know i love all the three guys um <clears throat> for different reasons i love them for all the different qualities that they bring and that, that they brought as a group uh so for me this is this is wonderful and um yeah, you know, I, I'm really happy with the way it went down. You know, Reigns and Rollins had a decent match. It could have been a bit more uh, faster paced, but, you know, the ending was satisfactory. You know, Rollins winning clean, um, which is good to see, you know. Um, and Ambrose cashing in, you know, on the same night. That's just, you know, legendary and will be legendary. And you, I kind of expected this to happen um, because I think they'll probably do some more money in the banks after the brand split. Um, and, you know, I didn't think it was going to happen after the thing they did on Monday Night Raw with the whole Shield reunion uh, on the Ambrose Salon, but I was pleasantly surprised, so I'm, I'm really happy. And, um, you know, uh, I'm happy to to have finally got what I want, really. Uh, as anyone who knows, I've been watching my videos for the last uh, year and a half or whatever. Um, so let's, that's enough about the main event. Uh, let's get on to the other matches. Cena Styles, good match. Um, a bit laboured in places, and there was a few kind of clumsy spots, but still really well executed. And a good finish. Let's just hope that Cena doesn't now get two wins over AJ. Um, uh, Money in the Bank match, great spots. It did feel a little bit at the beginning like a spot fest, but it really developed into a great match. Uh, I just hope Alberto Del Rio is okay. Rumours that he's injured. Um, he put in a really fine performance. I think people thought he might be the weak link, but all the guys did well, and it'll be interesting now to see whether um, the rest of the guys maybe go after um, the IC title or the US title, which Rusev retained over a easy defeat over O'Neill. Everyone who saw that coming, Rusev is now back to where he was um, over a year ago. Uh, Natalia turning on Becky after... Um, Losing to Charlotte and Dana. Interesting. We'll see where that goes. Uh, New Day retained, as pretty much everyone expected. Um, the pre show matches, I'm not even going to give it any kind of credence to because I think they were just a waste of time. Good that Corbin got the victory. Um, Cruz and Seamus and Mir. And uh, that's about it, really. You know, um, Not much to say. I think basically they're, they are now heading towards the brand split and we'll see. You know, with them bringing back, whether they're going to bring back other superstars or whether they'll bring back um, the World Heavyweight Championship, which I hope not because that would kind of undermine Dean Ambrose's achievement. Yes, he's achieved it as the, the single title, all three guys have. But I guess if they split it up within a few months, worst, they may lose it tomorrow on Monday Night Raw, which would be the worst kind of scenario. Um, so, you know, we'll see what happens. But, you know, like I said, you know, it was a decent pay per view. Um, the three main events, you know, um, I understand why they had to put Rusev and O'Neill on um, to separate the Money in the Bank and the, the main event, so Dean was a bit more fresh. Um, but I couldn't be happier for Dean, couldn't be happier. So uh, let's see what happens on Monday Night Raw, and uh, let's see what happens at Battleground, which might should be the first, what will be the first pay per view after the brand split. So guys, they're my thoughts. Go Ambrose, all the way, and I'll see you soon. Peace.